Hey y'all, welcome, welcome back, back to Rooster's Recipe. Today I'm sharing with you one of my favorite crock pot meals. This is Swedish meatballs and it's super family friendly and easy. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and take the lid off of my crock pot and spray it really good so nothing sticks. The first thing we're going to add in is one can of cream of chicken soup. So next up we are going to add one can of beef broth and I'm going to be using my handy dandy can opener and I use a handheld. Let me know, are you still using a handheld or do you prefer an electric can opener? Next up, you're just gonna take one packet of onion soup mix and just pour it over the mixture that you already have in the crock pot. Then we're gonna add two tablespoons of A1 steak sauce. So my crock pot is already on warm, so that will help, but I'm just gonna whisk this all together to a smooth consistency. All right, so when your consistency gets to about like this, you want to go ahead and put in your full bag of frozen meatballs. Then go ahead and stir in the meatballs really well, and by this time, it's already going to be smelling so delicious. So now you are done for a little bit. Once your meatballs are covered up, you wanna go ahead and pop that top on the crock pot and you can cook this on high for about four to six hours or low for six to eight hours. All right, so we have had it on high for about four hours now. So we're gonna check on it and see what it looks like. Looks like it's doing pretty good. It will probably only take about another hour to cook. We're gonna add in the other ingredients, but look how delicious it is already looking so far and we're not even done. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and come over to the stove and we are going to boil our egg noodles. I wouldn't use an entire bag, it does make a ton, but you can just play it by ear and use as much as you want, but you wanna go ahead and boil these and get these ready to add to the crock pot. I also do want to mention this pink cookware is on sale right now. I have a lot of questions about it and it's never on sale. So I will try to remember to link it below for you guys. I love it. Now you want to go ahead and add an eight ounce carton of sour cream into your mixture. And I'm not a huge fan of sour cream. So I don't think I even added the whole thing, but it turned out perfect. Just stir it all together and add as much as you like. So now you're gonna go ahead and add your egg noodles and you can add as much as you like just to get the correct consistency. I know at first I needed a little bit more so I added extra and then just stir it all up and then you can go ahead and turn your crock pot on warm at this point. All right, so here is what your Swedish meatballs should look like when they get done. They are so delicious. This is a huge hit in our family. We cook this so many times a year, even during the summer, but it is a great fall staple, so I highly recommend. All right, so now we are making slow cooker meatloaf, and I know a lot of you probably have not heard of this or not heard of people making it in the crock pot. We've only done it a couple times, but it turns out great. Okay, so you're gonna go ahead and add your two pounds of ground beef to the mixing bowl. This is a good size mixing bowl. I would probably mix it up a little bit more before you add your spices. All right, so once you get it handled a little bit like Alex was doing, you wanna go ahead and add two large eggs to your bowl of ground beef. Next up, we are going to add about two teaspoons of minced garlic, but you can put as much as you like. We all love garlic. All right, next up, we are going to add one packet of meatloaf seasoning. I haven't used this very often, but it is very good, so I highly recommend trying it. Okay, so I believe this recipe calls for three-fourths a cup of breadcrumbs, but I'm adding one cup of breadcrumbs because I am going to be using some glaze in this and I will need a little bit extra. So that's what we're doing here. And then after that, you are going to need about a half a cup of milk added to your meatloaf mixture. And then also to this mixture, we have to add our onion powder and our garlic powder. And of course, as always, we are measuring with love. 
And this is when I come in and add the glaze. I did ask Alex how much he thought we should put in. And he said about a half of this bottle. We got this from Target. This is the Honey Pecan Smoked Blaze or Wood Smoked Blaze. Something like that. But it's super good. And we add this to our meatloaf mixture. All right, so now we're gonna move over to the crock pot. We are going to use aluminum foil to make a little mini loaf pan to go inside of the crock pot for our meatloaf. All right, so here is our little mini aluminum foil loaf pan. We are going to spray it just so nothing sticks. I don't think you would have to spray it, but we're going to go ahead and do that anyway. And then I want you to see how good this meatloaf looks. It looks absolutely delicious. And Alex is going to go ahead and add it into the crock pot. And just look how easy that comes out of the bowl. You know it's going to be good just by looking at it. It looks perfect already. All right, so once you get to this point, it's time to start cooking. We are gonna cook on ours on high for about three hours. We're gonna save that leftover glaze to go on the top afterwards. But if you are wanting to cook this all day, of course you can cook it on low for a lot more time, but we are super hungry, it's super late, so three hours it is. All right, so we have about 30 minutes left and I'm gonna take a little peek at it and hopefully it's gonna dry out a little bit more beforehand and then I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with the glaze after the 30 minutes is up, which is now. So you see we are transferring this meatloaf from the crock pot and we are going to stick it right on top of a baking sheet all right, so right now we have our oven on broil and we are going to go ahead and pour on the glaze and kind of brush it over top of the meatloaf. And then we're gonna stick it in the oven for about three to four minutes or until the top layer or the barbecue sauce is a little bit sticky. All right, so it looks really good. We are going to take it out of the oven. We did cut a little slit in there to just make sure it was done and cooked all the way through. And it was, it looks so moist and delicious. I apologize if you don't like that word, but that is exactly what this meatloaf is. It is so good. If you've never made meatloaf in the crock pot before, I highly recommend doing so. I did not think it was going to turn out good the first time we made it, but look at this piece right here. Look how delicious. All right, so the next recipe we are going to be making today is slow cooker chicken and stuffing. This is so good. All right, so go ahead and spray your crock pot so nothing sticks, of course, and then you're gonna add three boneless chicken breasts to the bottom of the crock pot. All right, so go ahead and grab one can of cream of chicken soup and add that to your mixing bowl and make sure you get out as much as you possibly can. Next, go ahead and add one third a cup of milk on top of your cream of chicken in the mixing bowl. All right, so once you've poured your milk in, you want to whisk that up really good, stir it up, and you want it to get to about this consistency right here where it's pretty smooth. And once it gets to this point, you are well on your way to pouring it right over top of the chicken. And then go ahead and spread that evenly over top of your chicken breast. Now you're going to need one and two thirds of a cup of chicken broth. Now this is where the stuffing mix comes into play. We are going to pour the stuffing mix and the chicken broth in the bowl together. So now what you want to do is go ahead and scoop the mixture with the stuffing and the chicken broth and just place it on top of the chicken breast and the cream of chicken and milk mixture just like I'm doing here. And literally that is 
it, folks. Like, you're probably thinking, wow, that was pretty easy. But yeah, it was pretty easy. All you have to do now is go ahead and set your crock pot on low for six hours and it will be ready just in time for dinner. All right, so it's been about six hours and it is completely done. It smells and looks so delicious. You just wait, your kids are gonna come in the house and they're gonna be like, what is that smell? Just like mine did. And the chicken will just fall apart and go onto your plate super easily. This slow cooker meal is such a winner in our household. It is a family friendly recipe, kid friendly recipe, and I promise you will want to make this recipe over and over again. If you like trying new recipes, subscribe to our channel. Until next time, bye. bye.